hope you're having a great weekend. It's the recipe of the week and this week I'm going to be making impossible vegan pumpkin pie and it's got no crust, no eggs, no milk, no dairy and I think it's going to be amazing. So let's get started. As always, if you don't catch the ingredients the first time around, they're going to be in the description box on the bottom and they'll also be on my website. It's beyondreality.com. So I'm doing mine in my mixer and I'm going to start off with a one and a half, well one and a half cups of soy milk. I've got that here. It's organic. Just for fun. <laughs> a quarter cup of water. A tablespoon of cornstarch a tablespoon of egg replacer. I wanted to get the vegan one but my store only had the just egg whites one. Once that's used up I'm going to switch over to the energy uh, egg replacer and one teaspoon of pure vanilla. Obviously you can use not pure vanilla if that's all you have but I wouldn't substitute any of the other stuff. So I'm going to get that all in the mixing bowl and get it mixed up till it's nice and frothy. All right, so now that it's all mixed up and frothy, I'm going to add one can of uh, pumpkin puree, or if you don't want to use canned, you can use fresh, and it's two cups of pumpkin puree, and make it as dry as possible, because you don't want your pie to be too soupy. All right, so let's check it out. Now that everything is combined, we're going to add the last four ingredients, and that is a half a cup of rice flour, and they recommend not substituting uh, wheat flour for rice flour because the rice flour is going to give it a different texture than the wheat. So if you can avoid substituting, avoid substituting. Go with the rice flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder, a three-quarter cup of brown sugar or some type of sugar, and I'm using one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, but there's also a different breakdown in the recipe in the description box if you want to separate out like the cinnamon and ginger and all that. So you could use either one. I prefer to use the pumpkin pie spice because it's already pre-mixed and everything and it's just easier. So I'm going to get all of that uh, in the mixing bowl, get it mixed up, and then I'll show you what to do. All right, so there's the finished product pre-baking. They recommend using an oversized 9-inch uh, Pyrex dish sprayed with some uh, nonstick cooking spray. So I'm going to pour that into the Pyrex and I'm going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for approximately one hour. And they recommend using the larger dish because when it bakes it's going to puff up a lot. It'll you know, flatten down again once it's done baking and it cools off. but. You don't want it to run over the sides of the dish, so make sure you use a big enough pie plate to contain the molten lava, pumpkin lava. Alright, so what am I going to do while I'm waiting for the pie to cook? I'm going to do what anyone would do. I'm going to watch the artist. <laughs> Sean found that funny as well. Alright, so there it is out of the oven and slightly cooled. So we're going to cut into it. Wow, it's really holding together quite nicely for not having any eggs or anything like that. Of course, it would come out a lot nicer if I didn't have to do this with one hand. Darn it. Hey Chris, <laughs> what's going on? Alright, so I'm totally butchering this. Yeah. Would you like that? Mm, I shouldn't have a lot of ice cream. I bet if I let it cool off and um, chill in the fridge, I mean, it's still really hot. It would hold together better, but yeah. Would you like to tasty taste it? Yeah. Well, here, why don't you just taste it for everyone? It's kind of hot. Kristen just woke up, by the way. What do you think? It just kind of tastes like mashed sweet potatoes. <laughs> okay. I'm just being honest. Okay. That's fine. But is it good? 
All right, there you have it. If you want mashed sweet potatoes, try this recipe. All right, the real tasty taster has finally arrived. I let it chill overnight. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind that if you're reading this recipe, it's vegan. No crust, <laughs> no, crust no eggs, no butter. Keep that in mind. Kristen was half asleep last night when she was tasting this, so she was like, it's just like mashed sweet potatoes. Yeah, I mean, it's got pumpkin flavor to it. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be as good as if you went to the bakery and got a Satan pie full of <laughs> eggs and butter and milk. Not bad, though. Right. What kind of sugar is in it? Uh, the Demerara brown natural sugar. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And I guess we should say, till next time... Much love.